Hi everyone, Coach Janine here. I just wanted to take a few minutes and share some of the great customer service I received while on my trip to Fort Collins. And had a great flight, great TSA. I mean, I, I have no complaints, but you know, we're at that holiday time where people have some stressors going on and anything you can do as a business owner to provide a little extra to make their day special will go a long way in them remembering you and your business my flight to denver did get delayed a couple hours i left here in north carolina where it was beautiful in the 70s near 80s to go to where it was 14 degrees it averaged between 12 and a couple times it got to 21. It snowed, it was overcast, I was miserable and freezing. The flight was a couple hours delayed taking off from Raleigh to get to Denver. I get to Denver, but I got to tell you, I landed and Frontier Airlines is a whole nother video. I'd never been to the Denver airport again. It's one of those you got to pay attention where you're going, take the little subway. I had great directions on where to find the shuttle to get to the rental car place. It's that big. So I get, the minute I approach the shuttle, I'm like, is this the shuttle to get really to? And he's like, yes. Gets on, I get on board. Very pleasant man. I get to, you know, a few other people get on the shuttle. We're headed, and he's like, okay, this was going to be for this, and this is, again, very polite, very, you know, he helped. I didn't travel with luggage, didn't stay that long, but great customer service. I walk into Enterprise, rental car, and, of course, haul it day before Thanksgiving. Everybody's standing there, and a lady immediately, well, the shuttle driver gave us instructions. He says, if you got this, go here. If you got this, go here. And so-and-so will be in there to help you. Go in there. Of course, I'm looking lost. I didn't know if I should be in that line. Those kiosks still make me a little bit intimidated because I don't use them that often. A, minute, a lady comes over. I said, I don't know what I'm doing. She immediately took me to the kiosk because I had a reservation. Kept watching to make sure I was doing it okay. Again, great customer service. Prints out what I need. I'm way ahead of everybody standing in line. Another gal comes up. She's got her little, you know, like iPad or whatever it is. And she's like, last name? Be right back. Comes back. I go outside to another woman. We get the cars. We're going over everything. Again, fabulous customer service. Lots of polite please and thank yous and thank you, da-da-da. Tell me how to exit. Go out, the person at the gate letting me leave. I had to show my driver's license one last time for their computer, I guess. And I guess making sure I have the right car, I don't know. And that woman said, how was the customer service today? Was there any part through the entire process that was not good? And I said, no, everyone was. I mean, just very pleasant woman. Um get to my hotel had to drive to Fort Collins of course it's snowing traffic's going real slow I get to my hotel Cambria Hotel website it was supposed to be like a three star but all the reviews kept saying it was like a five star I gotta tell you the minute I walked in five star hotel beautiful this is a letter that was waiting in my hotel of course they said Mr. Howard but that's okay it was a nice letter, signature, welcoming me to my room. They actually, another thing that impressed me with this hotel, they had another flyer that they kept scooting under the door and leaving. Their hotel staff was off for Thanksgiving Day. If you, if we needed anything, to just call the desk and they would bring us, you know, towels, whatever. This hotel had, I mean, it, it was beautiful. This le welcome letter really impressed me. Every step of the way was just really, really great customer service. So just want to remind you, you know, even as business owners, we get caught up sometimes in the negativeness of the holidays, the stress of people. But I just really want you to take a quick, quick few minutes and review how you can offer great customer service during the holiday season. Maybe do a quick refresher with your 
employees and remind them to look at body language. You know, if they see somebody with looking all hunched over or somebody cold or the expression, I'm just lost, I don't know what I'm doing, to take a minute and help, to smile, to be. So enjoy the article. Have a great holiday. Remember, customer service, when you're traveling even, it's just so neat to get out and away from our office and see how others are treating us or how and to, and to take note and say I like that so take 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 a few minutes before you get busy and review your customer service procedures the you know it, it is the common things it's the smile it's the handshake it's the the please and the thank yous come again. Were you happy? I've been, you know, since I've been back, I've been getting lots of emails from different, you know, the hotel. The And I will say even the restaurant I went to, Silver Grill, the minute I walked in, are you Josh's mom? You need to go sit right there so you can watch him cook. Are you, you know, it, it was just a wonderful experience, wonderful trip. This hotel, though, primo staff, especially during the Thanksgiving holiday season when I'm sure they all wanted to be home. So, take a few minutes, look at your customer service, do a little bit of training with your employees, remind them how important it is during this busy season to make people feel special. Hopefully, we're making everyone feel special every day, but especially now with stress and cold and just went outside and it's, it's temperatures dropping again. So, make us think of how you can offer a great customer service experience for your employees. Have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.